Okay, there we go. Hello, everybody. My name is Regular Gamer. I'll talk back to more Resident Evil Code Veronica. So we're not in a good position right now. Our health is in the danger zone. And we have no herbs. That briefcase we opened had freaking bow gunpowder in it. And we still don't have the freaking bow gun. I don't know where to get it. My only guess would be either down here where the guillotine area is. Or maybe back over to the military train facility. Because there was that one area we couldn't go to. Because we need to turn off the ventilation or some shit like that. Ugh. So we're not in a good position here. And we're about to go to cemetery. Which is a very... Very claustrophobic space with barely any ammo and anything really. We we're I don't know if we're gonna survive this. I might have to go to a previous save just to have even bigger chance of survival here. Cause it is not looking good for Claire here. It is not. We have ten bullets and that is not gonna be enough for these zombies. I know that. So unless one of them just like suddenly drops an entire handgun. What the? Why did you suddenly just look up? Okay, that one's down. Okay. We made it for the graveyard, which is the semi-easy part. I say semi because we still need to get to the guillotine area to use the emblem we have. And, oh, for God's sakes. Um, where was it? Uh-oh. He's blocking it. And I have no ammo. Oh, he was about to grab me. I would have been killed. I have no ammo. There's so many zombies around. Yeah, this situation is not looking in my favor. We're not being zombies like right out here. Please, no. For God's sakes, right in the direction we need to go. I don't have any ammo. Because the only gun we have is the handgun and the gold weapon that we can't use. We have no ammo and bow gun stuff that we don't have because I don't have the bow gun. I have a knife. What just happened? Okay, that went better than expected. I'll give you that. And I'm dead. Yeah, okay. I think I need to go to previous save. There's just nothing else I can really do here. There just isn't. <sighs> okay. I went back to a previous save. Though we haven't given the one guy his, uh... His hemostatic medicine yet. I went ahead and grabbed all the bow gun arrows I could. Because I'm hoping I get it soon. Because we really do need a new weapon. What the... Uh, but before we actually go give him his meds again, I actually want to see... Uh, I want to go ahead and do the plate here. What the... Okay, the game's kind of bugging out a bit here. Okay, do I need to interact with it? I know this fits here. There we go. Yeah, I hear the dog still going crazy back down there. What is this? Oh! Oh, it's a key card! I have an idea of where we can use it at. Okay, let me just avoid the dogs down here because they are annoying to deal with. Why are they inside this one room? You know what? Just leave them there. I was gonna try and go and see what the ladder leads down over there, but well, obviously I can't do that. Okay, I got the blue key card. Uh. I think I know where those can go to. Yeah, I think, yeah, it can, okay, it can open that one floor, one door on the second floor. And that on basement. Okay, so we basically need to go down to, to basement and second floor. So we need to run past the warm again. 
Yeah, we are definitely not going to be able to take him on anytime soon. We do not have the weapons resource to take on a giant worm. I feel like either he is just going to be like a random obstacle enemy or he's actually going to be a boss. Could be either one. I remember in the original, original, uh, Brazil Free, the actual first boss he fought before Nemesis was a giant freaking worm in a graveyard, I think it was. Go for here. We'll take, uh, we'll go to the basement one first. Because I guess in this emblem card has to be for the blue key card doors. Uh, basement floor. Yeah, let's do Valen first. Also, wait, was I supposed to get the emblem back? Because I feel like I did need that for the door back in the first uh, area. The prison with the guillotine. Oh, uh, this might not go well. Oh, uh, dang it. I think I accidentally used... Am I going to get another emblem? I hope I do, but I think I might have just missed my chance. I think I screwed up. I hope I didn't, but, you know, I think I might have. Shit. Okay, here we go. Come on, interact. Yes, he used a card. And I see that gun right there. But I don't think I had the room for it. Yeah, I see it, but I don't really think I have the room for it. Yeah, it's a grenade launcher. Which, having a new gun would be helpful, but a grenade launcher only has so much ammo and... I don't know, I don't think it's the right weapon for us at the moment. We need something a bit more... Jeez, what the... What? Why are these guys here? What the... What the fr- Oh, you serious? I, what? A switchboard? I, okay, I see a door. Are you serious? Come on, man. That was just some BS. Antibacterial work clothes are stored here. Is this a lab? Door's locked, I can't enter. Then what's the point of me being here? It appears to have been destroyed violently. I'll let the T virus leak from here. Well, how am I supposed to get in? Am I supposed to do something? Oh, for God's sakes, I think I need to come here when the ventilation is done. Which is something we still can't do yet. So right now, I'm just in a bad position here. Yeah. God dang it. Why is this my luck? Of course, the emblem card brings me to a freaking area with the boss enemy, and I'm hurt a lot now. Great. There's no point in me even coming down here. That was just stupid. What's this? Breaker for ventilation device is currently set on the on position. If that's the case, then why is ventilation not working? Oh, hold on. Breaker for ventilation device is currently set to the on position. Hold on, okay, let's go up, let's grab the emblem card again because, well... It kinda died. So let's grab the emblem card again. Gotta do this again, because I died. Go ahead and put that in. There we go. Yep, emblem card. If I use it down here, in the basement sewer area, can I use it for anything? Can it help with the ventilation? Because... <laughs> I thought the ventilation was off. That's why we couldn't go for that one door. At least I thought that was the reason. Is it not? 
Or am I just unlocking a shortcut right now? Or do I need to, like, do something with this? That's for the freezing device is leaking out. Ventilation device is working. I don't know. Ventilation is working. Then why can I not go for that one freaking door? Well, let's go to the second floor and use the blue emblem card on the door over here. Because besides that, the only thing left I think of that we need to do is use the golden guns for that one door. But that's already back in the palace. So let's do this first. Blue card reads, let's lock. Yep, use emblem card. <coughs> Well, okay then. Are you zombie? No? What about these guys? I see grenade ammo. I didn't pick up the grenade launcher downstairs because we just do not have the room. When we get rid of the golden guns, then I'll go get the uh, grenade launcher. The albinoid description. A creature which is created by injecting the T-virus into genes of a salamander. Characteristics. <laughs> what the fuck? Similar to a normal amphibian. That looks so wrong in so many different ways. Okay. Albinoid's body will grow as it will change as it grows with age. When young, an albinoid is small in size but can grow to over 7 feet in a very short time frame. Temples hours, they possess high mobility and are able to discharge electricity. These characteristics are most notable when they are underwater in their adult form. Well, then let's hope we're not gonna run into them, even though we most definitely are. Okay. What's going on over here? Because I see the red bunt. Oh, I see green air rope there. But I'm not gonna pick up because. Okay, the army proof. We know we're. Okay, we know where we need to take this. We need to go and take it over to um, the airport. Breakouts in the bio experiment room. Switch security monitor. Sure. Ah, yes. Very nice. Oh, I'm moving this. Yeah, I'm guessing this is probably where they released their mutants and the T virus itself. Can I zoom in? Can I take a look at the door? Or what is this? Oh, I can. There's a number. <laughs> Don't tell me they wrote a code. Numbers 1126 right here. Who wrote a code on who writes a code on a painting? My experiment room has finished ventilating. Fast number door lock system has been enabled. Wait, hold on. You're not serious. Okay, hold on. Okay, so that was the buy room, and it just finished ventilating now? That's how we can... Okay. So now we got two things. Let me look on the map to see if I'm right. Yep, because now the one towards the hallway is now green. But it also means I could probably go through the area where I got killed last time by the two stretch Armstrong mutants. <sighs> Uh, also, looks like that one area is also open now, but, well, I think now we can reach it. Okay, well. Oh, you've gotta be. Nope, nope. See ya. See ya. Uh, I don't want to deal with those stretch Armstrong units. I guess I could use a grenade launcher on them. It'd be better than nothing. Let's go to our one other area first. And... To save room, we might actually head back to the airport and probably um, the palace as well. Just so we go ahead and get rid of the golden guns because that's just using up too much of our inventory as well as the army proof hexagonal thing. Because how much room do I have now? I have none. And we also still need to give this to have one guy, but all he gives us is a lockpick. I don't know how important that's going to be. So, before we actually do any of those, we're going to have to do a bit of backtracking first. We'll see how well this goes.
Okay, let's go ahead and... What should I put away? I almost want to put away to ammo. The hemostatic medicine. I'll definitely put that away. We, I know we need to give that to one guy to get the lockpick again, but then we died that one time, so... And the lockpick, we only know two things we need for that case, which just gives us the gunpowder thing, which I don't understand what that really does. And then, um... That one kind of, um... Grenade launcher ammo, which we don't have a grenade launcher on us at the moment. Let's just go ahead and get done with this, and... Here we go. Use! I don't equip them. They have no ammo. The lock has been released. Thank you. Yeah, we just don't have the rooms, and there's just way too many zombies between here and next area to really be worrying about that. I should probably equip the gun. <laughs> okay, what am I hearing? Antique music box? Okay. Oh, it's Thunder. Okay. Of course it is. Thunderbolts. Books are lined up. Okay. Something is written on the memo. First digit left, right, second digit left, third digit right. Fourth digit right, right, right. It's now set while maneuvering. What does that mean? There's no power going to turn the computer on. Sure. Uh, didn't we see this earlier? Yeah, the weird creepy siblings that- That's just- That's just creepy. That is beyond creepy. Oh, that was it. Okay. Um, okay. That did something, apparently. Please enter the password. Uh, wait, wasn't that what our, um... What was it? We just got something. Playing manual? No, that's not it. No, that wasn't it either. What, what was the code we picked up from before? It was 112 something. I think it was... Was it 1126? Nothing happens. Okay, I don't think it was a code for this. Okay, so we need a code for the computer. There's a button, push button. Oh. Okay, hold on. Okay, so what did this say? The first digit was, um... First digit left, right. Second digit is left, first digit right, then right, right, right. So it was... Left... Right. Okay, so that's the first digit, so it's one. Okay, then it's left. Okay, so it's one, nine, seven. One, nine, seven, one. One, nine, seven, one. 1971? One, nine, seven, one. They always write down their codes. <clears throat> okay, that... Okay. Hidden room! Oh, for God's sakes! Trying to get past you just to go over here. Why is this my luck? I do not have enough ammo to deal with this guy. I do not. <laughs> I could really use that grenade launcher. This would be a perfect time for it. Okay, how hard am I? I'm on caution. Okay, not the worst, not the best. Where am I? I'm still in the palace.
Okay, witch's laugh. Maybe it might not be the best idea to continue with this area yet. Seems like going to a whole new... Private residence. Uh, great, we're going to a whole new area. Do I really want to go ahead and start going to a... You gotta be! There's two... I have... 27 shots in the pistol. Unless you're telling me... Brother, I don't have enough ammo to deal with these guys. Unless you're telling me these guys can just die from just 27... Bro, but how am I supposed to deal with all these guys? I'm dead! Okay, yeah, I need that grenade launcher. I need it. Badly. Okay, this time I made sure to actually... I went ahead and actually grabbed the grenade launcher this time, because... Those Stretch Armstrong mutants, they keep on spawning everywhere, and the pistol's just not doing it. Not doing anything all of them. So I think the grenade launcher needs to be used against them. That's the only thing I can think of. And this time, we're actually going to go this way instead. So yeah, this should work. Yeah, use biohazard card. Boom, open. Thank you. Now I'm going to need the... Yes, please get rid of it. Give me as much room as possible. Good, good, good. And I put the golden guns in the in the box. Because we're not ready for that area till Let's finish up this area first before we go to the palace. Because obviously the palace is where we need to go to continue the story. I want to make sure I'm not going to miss anything that could be helpful for us. Okay, well it seems like this thing right here is locked. Why is it locked? It's missing the doorknob. Of course it is. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, so this is what connects to this. Okay, so I don't need to go out to where those two uh, mutants are. Is that what I think it is? Is that the bow gun? Finally! This is where it's been the entire time. Jeez. Finally. <laughs> Memo on a pass number. Emergency door lock system in biology experiment room can be released with a four-digit pass, which we know. Hope you have forgotten about that. Well, you wrote it on a freaking painting. It's 1126. It's easy to see. I received an order from System Ministry requesting us to change the past number periodically. Ours means that you often lose poor memos, past numbers on even chemicals. So, attempt to solve that. Came idea, you know, the red human skeleton picture at a back biology experiment room. Yep, we saw the number on it. I decided to use the number sign on the picture as a past number. If you have to lose the memo, just look at the picture. Well, I don't think you would ever need to use a mercy pass number. Anyway, but just in case, now you know, take it easy, Mr. Careless. Well, it's a good thing we already know the number, because we already searched the, uh, picture. Uh, come on, there we go. Yeah, it was one... One, two, six. There we go. Okay, so let's see what's actually in here. <laughs> Ew, allergies are bad today. Okay, so that one guy, is you is going to come back as a zombie or you're just dead? Nothing useful. Do I need to examine the body? He's already dead. Well, duh. Doesn't seem to be working, can't open it. They just skeleton picture. Wait, what? Oh, there was that one room with the painting where we got the emblem. We need to take a picture over there. Okay. Jesus. Okay. Hi. Oh. Oh, it's the salamander. It's the freaking. This is not good. You're releasing a gas? What the? Ugh, they're shocking us. Freaking releasing a gas. <laughs> Wait, what, do I need to leave here, or, like, do I, do I need to kill them, or, uh-oh. I might have just killed myself here. Uh-oh. This is not a good situation. Why did this have to happen? 
Um, you know what? I'm just going to leave the entire facility. Just, you know, leave. That was close. Well, okay then. Well, we got the photo now. Uh, which room has it? Okay, I know which room has it. It's out here. Yeah, we need to take a photo in there and I guess something happens if we use the photo in there. Uh, gotta be careful, fast or warm. I'm, I don't want to waste a grenade launcher on the worm. I probably could use it on him, but I mean... I don't really want to take the chance. I mean, I finally got the bow gun. I wish I could see, like, its stats. See how much damage it does and stuff like that. Sorry, my hair is horrible right now. I need to take... I, I need a haircut, that's what I need. Of bow gun, which is mainly used for hunting. It's powerful, you say? Good to hear, because I have 180 arrows for it. Yeah, I'm definitely equipping this. Well, actually, you know what? I'll equip the uh, pistol first, because it got a load of ammo. What? Didn't I kill you guys already? Will you go down? I thought I killed both you guys already. Oh, no you don't. Okay, there we go. He's dead. Okay. Yeah, this room right here, this... I think this is the right room. Yep, this is the painting room. What the? Gold key? Uh, what do I open with this? Uh, nothing for the military train facility. Or the airport. <clears throat> oh, it looks like it opens one of the rooms in the palace. What about the prison? Okay, so we need to use it for the, um, the palace. Okay, well, let me go ahead and save, because we did a lot. So, it seems like now that we've done that, now we need to go do the whole golden gun thing at the palace. Okay, so that one door we have used the golden key on is over here to the left. Which is past some zombies. Okay, well, maybe I can run past him. If not, then I'll use the bow gun. I mean, I did gather a lot of ammo for it, so... Are you serious? What the f- What the- Okay, you know what? I guess I need to actually be down here to, you know... No, no, come on, quickly! What the- Oh! Okay, um... Knife? Yep. Definitely time for the knife. Go down, stay down. Okay, who else is left? This one Shambler. Okay, I think I might be able to just, like, run past him. The bow gun doesn't really do too much damage, but I have a lot of ammo for it, and I can just kind of spam it. So it's not too bad. Locked, used a gold key. Here we go. Is it the only door that needs the gold key? Discard the gold key. Good. More room in the inventory. So, what's back here? 
creepy room. What's this? It's a man's portrait. An earthenware vase is also illustrated. There's a button below. Push the button? Uh, no. I don't want to push button, just get killed. Her man is holding a tea set. There's a button below. No. What is this? Beautiful woman is holding a tea set. Okay, that's two people with tea sets. Picture of a man, pure white candlestick, also illustrated. Okay, this is obviously a puzzle. Picture of a red-haired man, urban plate, urbanware plate is also illustrated. What? Middle aged man is with red hair twins. <laughs> a freaking fur tea set. Okay. Yeah, this is obviously a puzzle. Because what? There's like three of these tea sets. Two earthenware stuff. And like one singular uh, candlestick. Okay, nothing to do with a statue. Giant portrait. Message to the new family master. Sir Alfred. Congratulations on your uh, succession uh, as master of the Ashford family. I hereby present you with an earthenware vase according to the Ashford family tradition. As you may know, this tradition first began when a butler presented a gold teacup as a commemorative to Veronica. Okay, as founder of the Ashford family, her intelligence and beauty are legendary. Oh, okay, I'm guessing it's Veronica as the lady in the picture. The second and third master, Stanley and his son Thomas, were also presented with similar teacups. It is their hope to achieve glory as Veronica did before them. The position of family master then shifted from Sir Thomas to his twin brother, Sir Arthur. It then went to Sir Edward, your grandfather, vows when the Ashford family enjoyed its golden age. Sir Edwin Schumann vows established the large chemical enterprise, Umbrella Incorporated. Wait, who? Okay, hold on. Sir Edward. He established Umbrella? I thought it was Spencer. Like something Spencer. Or what's his, is his name Edward Spencer? Is that his name? Hold on. Resident Evil Spencer. Because I thought he was the one who established... No, Oswald E. Spencer. Yeah, wasn't he the one who... Um, wasn't he the one who created Umbrella? After he learned about, like, biological stuff from a... Uh, what was his name? The lady from Village. Yeah, he was like one of the founders. Okay, however, when Sir Edward passed away, when your father, Sir Alexander, seated the position, the glorious Ashford family gradually began to sink. I certainly hope that the Ashford family regains its glory with your guidance just as this vase continues to shine eternally. Scott Harmon, Butler. Okay, so I think this is... Wait, what's this? Pure white candlestick. Something's written on the base. In memory of Alexander Ashford's succession. Okay, so... I'm guessing I need duties in the order, so I'm guessing this is probably Veronica, the tea set. Then it went to her sons. Guessing probably you. You had the vase, and that was later given, so not that. The fucking plate. I don't understand a plate. Okay, here's the second plate. Teacup. I don't understand the earthenware plate. Um, I'm just going to do the vase next. And then I guess candlestick. I don't understand the plate. There was nothing mentioning a plate. Who needed a plate? What? Okay, hold on. Can I read the note again? Let's see around the picture. Trace Ashford Legacy revealed a true master of his bent below. Trusting this shuts all the activation buttons room. Okay, so I was incorrect. Oh, this is going to drive me insane. Okay, let's let's think about this logically here. Um Nope, that's the diary. Here we go, memo to a new master. Okay, so the last one who was presented is, the, is Sir Alfred. He's the newest one. He was given 
a uh, a vase, earthenware vase. Okay, novices began when a butler presented gold teacup to Veronica. So, ladies at first. Second, for Master Stanley's son Thomas. Oh, also presented with similar teacups. Okay, it was their hope to achieve glory as Veronica did. And this is different to his twin brother, Sir Arford. Okay, I think it's Veronica, then Stanley, the guy with the twins. And then the guy who's not with the twin. Then it went to Sir Edward, your grandfather. So then enjoyed its golden age. Okay. So she was established for a large chemical enterprise on Brill Inc. Passed away, seated, gradually began to sink. Okay, let's see if maybe I have this correct now. Okay. Veronica's first. Then I think it went to this guy because from everything is said that. The next master had a twin brother. This guy's holding a pair of twins. And I think it went to him. What does this say? The right candlestick, something's written on the base. Memory of Alexander Ashford's succession. Maybe maybe those three are the only real ones. Because that's all it talks about is no way, no, it mentions the vase. It doesn't mention a plate, and it doesn't mention the candlestick, so I don't think I need to do anything with the candlestick. I think I need to do the vase. Okay, let's see if I'm correct now. Fuck! <laughs> Come on! Ah, oh, me and puzzles. Seriously. Okay, hold on, let me reset them. Maybe, maybe I do still need to do all of them. If that's the case, I don't- I just don't know the order. I mean, I have an idea on the order. You... Then the son we had twins. Then this guy. And then it went to the brother who's also red-haired, so maybe this is the other twin. Oh boy. Am I wrong about this? Oh boy. Uh Then the vase. Then the candlesticks? I'm guessing the candlestick is probably Alexander, I think. From the little Am I right? I think I'm wrong about like the guy with the plate. The plate is the thing that's like making me the most confused is that freaking plate. Boom! There we go. But that plate was still... Uh, who's this? A Walter Earthen vase or vase. Whichever way you prefer. I don't care. <laughs> so who's this? Portrait of a young woman. A, flower, a floral pot is also illustrated. I'm guessing this is Alfred's sister. Because uh, I think we read something about him having a sister. Like a twin sister. Uh, I don't remember what her name was, but... Well, it probably says somewhere on the file. So, let's check this vase. Aha! What is it? It is... The fuck is that? The Queen Ant object was in the vase. Oh, where? 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 Oh! There was a place that had, like, a bug jewel thing. Where was it? <laughs> oh, God, that's going to drive me insane. I don't remember where it was. I think it was in the palace. It's either the room that's across from where we are now, or it's the one back near the lobby. Or I guess the entrance of this palace. Let me try over here first. Was this it? This does have a have a bug. Okay, hold on. Okay, can I not get to it? Yeah, this has a bug. Model after an ant is displayed here. 
that's it? Do I not need to, like... Uh... Queen ant object? Contains a red ruby. Okay, well that was my only idea of what to use the bug for. I don't think there's anything we could use at the, um, prison for it. Hmm. I don't know, that's what's confusing me. But at least now we got the ant. As for what we need to use the ant for, that is the real question. But just one task at a time. So I think now it's time for us to go do the whole golden... Woo! Hi, hello! The do wielding golden guns again. And let's try not to die this time. Actually, we might go ahead and save. And end the video here. Let's go up here. Why are you right there? You gotta be! Are you serious? <laughs> okay, he's dead. But we got injured. Thanks. Why? I, is there still a green herb over here to the left? There was a... I did leave a green herb to the left of here, right? I did! Here we go. Bada boom. And I, and I have both my bow gun and my grenade launcher this time. So we should be fine for fighting the... Stretch Armstrong mutants. And hopefully not die this time, but I think... Yeah, let's go ahead and save. I know, we saved a lot. I am worried about us using too many ink ribbons, but... Still. Either way, I think this is where I'll go ahead and end this video off now. I died a lot in this video. This game is definitely taking its difficulty up a notch. Because zombies are more of just reoccurring, and also those freaking stretch Armstrong mutants are insane. But, well, we got ourselves some better weapons now, so hopefully we'll have a better chance in the next video. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe since it supports me and the channel. And if you guys have any gaming recommendations at all, do leave it in the comments down below. But until then, I'll see you guys next video. Stay awesome.